I am your host, Jess Williamson, an award-winning business and mindset coach and a serial entrepreneur having scaled four successful businesses. My purpose is to help you unleash your unique superpowers and to build the life and business of your dreams. Let's get into today's episode. Today, I have a bit of a different and fun episode. I wanted to bring to you Kanye West, Kris Jenner, and Gary Vee. And the one thing that they have in common, they have many things in common, but one pretty cool thing that they have in common is that they are all projectors, human design projectors. And when we look at them, it makes absolute sense. They are like textbook projectors, right? So as projectors, we are meant to be unapologetically ourselves. We can see things so, so clearly But we also have a hugely penetrating aura, which isn't for everyone. It is quite polarizing in a way. Our aura polarizes people because we can see things so clearly that some people are not ready to hear it. And so when we look at these three incredible human beings, love them or hate them, I actually think they're pretty great in a way. Kanye West is a bit of a, you know, what, but... I think he's bloody smart. He is bloody smart to have built what he's built. He's got a hell of a lot of haters, but he has a hell of a lot of fans. He doesn't get to where he's gotten without doing something right. And so I think there are some really cool lessons with all of these people. If we look at Gary V, for example, he is pretty brutally honest. He says it how it is. He was not an overnight success, that's for sure. When he really lent into being unapologetically himself, when he really owned his superpowers or his strengths of seeing things really clearly, you see all of his videos on social media are people asking him for advice and he gives them the best advice. It's pretty brutal. It's pretty to the point, but it is pretty damn insightful. It may not be what they always want to hear, but it's what people need to hear. And that is our superpower as projectors. We're not here to water ourselves down. From my previous episode on I'm not here to play small, I explained how I had this huge realization. So I wanted to bring you some examples of famous projectors who have really mastered this. They have built huge levels of success. These people are not your everyday celebrity. These are the top celebrities in the world, right? In their fields. And they didn't get there by accident. So let's look at Kanye West, for example, right? He says it like it is. He has a really key point of view on certain things, but he says it unapologetically. And because our aura is so penetrating, we are not going to be for everyone. And the lesson that we can take from this, and this is great for any human design type in general, right? Let's not water ourselves down for anyone. But when we can really master this as a projector, you are going to get haters. And that is where we can often fall into the fear of being seen That is when we start to be the nice girl or the, you know, say the right things. Because we have this fear of triggering people, we have this fear of upsetting people or saying something that upsets someone, right? But we have this urge to say it anyway. And quite often we stop ourselves because we know that when we do say that, we are going to get judgment. We are going to get haters. We are going to repel some people. They're not going to love what you say all of the time. But that is also the magic. That is also the best part of it because we don't need the people who are not here for that. We don't need the people who are not going to recognize us for those gifts that we have to see them so deeply and so clearly. It's only when we can be comfortable and okay with being that seen and knowing that we are not going to be for everyone, we actually can start to magnetize the right 
people. I hope you're enjoying today's episode. If you are a human design projector in business and you're ready to unlock a new level of success, then my new program, Projector Magic, is for you because when you go deeper into alignment with your projector magic, that is when you truly do start to see your business shift and grow to that next level. You were born with everything you need to succeed and now it's your time to really step into it and claim that next level. Your magic is different to everyone else and it's really time for you to share that with the world. Whether you're a burnt out projector, feeling out of alignment, or you're ready to elevate yourself and claim huge levels of success that are already available to you, this program is for you. Check the show notes or head over to my website, jessicawilliamson.com.au and jump into projector magic. I'll see you over there. And so right now I'm welcoming in the haters. I'm welcoming in judgment. I'm welcoming that in because I know that when I can be comfortable with that, only then I'm going to reach huge levels of success. Only then I'm going to be impacting the right people who are just magnetized to my message in the most deepest, profound way, which is honestly the most fulfilling thing as a projector to be able to have that huge impact on people, to share our wisdom with people in a way that is received so deeply. And then if we look at Kris Jenner, Kris Jenner is like my favorite. She's just an absolute genius. If we break it down, if we look at this, Kris Jenner created the most successful empire of our time with the Kardashians, right? We've got all of the Kardashians under that umbrella, Kim, Chloe, Courtney, Kylie, Kendall, you know, all of them. Let's just the Kardashians, right? <laughs> Even though they're Jenners. But Kris Jenner created this huge empire, They are a part of our history for our generation. Whether you like them or hate them, I'm here for anyone who loves them. Come into my DMs, could chat Kardashians all day. (laughs) But she did this and she did this in a way of seeing her daughters so deeply. She sees them so clearly that she could guide them on that journey to success. And we know that as projectors, we are not here to actually do the work necessarily. And so Kris Jenner is the best example of this because she gets to guide her children, create these huge, incredible careers for them. While she's still building and working in her own business and working to get the deals, she's there to guide them. And that is her work. And as projectors, we quite often get put in this lazy bucket. And if you're a projector living out of alignment, yes, you might be lazy, but Kris Jenner is the furthest thing from lazy. And so we get to work in ways that work for us. We get to guide people in the deepest way and elevate them and ourselves to success. We know that our signature is success. We were born to be successful and Kris Jenner gets to guide people in a way that uses her strengths and creates her own success. Like how freaking cool is that? Also, I am totally claiming that Kris Jenner is a projector. Like, yes, yes, yes. We'll take her, right? (laughs) So I just wanted to share that because I thought it was really cool to have a look at. I mean, people talk about Barack Obama being a, you know, projector and all these other people, but I just can't relate. I can't really relate to them. These are people, I mean, Kanye, take him or leave him, right? But Kris Jenner and Gary Vee, legends. And so I wanted to just dissect a little bit on them being projectors. And I just thought it was really cool insight to see how they work how success has played out for them when they stepped into their power and were unapologetic about it. Because you cannot argue with the fact that these three people are pretty bad ass and so unapologetic about it. And they know that they deserve these huge levels of success. I want to leave you with that. You deserve 
huge levels of success. You were literally born to have this success come your way, but sometimes really allowing us to see our own power, to unleash our own power is a little bit scary because then we might be seen, then we might be triggering people or not be liked, but I'm here for it. So if you're here to really claim this, to step into your knowledge, to step into your power, Let's do this. Let's do this together because it's pretty bloody exciting. I wouldn't mind being on Chris Jenner's level, right? I'm like, I'm going to get her on the podcast one day. It is going to happen. You've heard it here first. I put it out there into the universe. So let's make it happen. <laughs> I wanted to just share that. I think they're pretty cool and you're pretty cool too. So I hope you have the most amazing day. I'm going to leave it there. And come and hang out with me on social media. If you enjoyed this episode, please screenshot and share it to your Instagram stories. Let me know if you're enjoying it, your key takeaways. I would love to hear from you and make sure you tag me. Otherwise, I won't see it. My tag is at jess.williamson8. Until next time, I will chat to you soon.